Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. Check out this beautiful, beautiful weapon. This is the pecan. I bought it. It's not the pecan. I bought this thing from the special gear vendor in the boo right now, and it is absolutely a wonderful gun in the 1.5 patch. It is 229. It is rocking 14,000 damage with just some awesome perks right here. Swift, de destruction, and ferocious. It is a pretty awesome weapon when going in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the 1.5 stuff check out these awesome weapons that they've added mg5 very excited i have not had a chance to play around with some of these but i just want to go ahead and briefly cover a lot of what's in 1.5 without covering survival right now i'll have another update for you later this week on survival but i just want to go ahead and cover what you who don't have survival will be seeing so let's go ahead and check out the new world tier the new world tier is 230 plus gear score it is going to be level 34 enemies and the maximum gear score score has been raised to 256 and it is tier 5. So the one thing that I want to go ahead and direct you to is that they've made a bunch of changes but they made a lot of changes to the one thing that people were using in 1.4 which is the enemy armor damage where they made it a major attribute instead of a minor attribute. This is going backwards I feel from 1.4 to 1.3 where they you know they see something that's being used in the game and they absolutely hate that you're using it the way you're using it and you're stacking it the way you're stacking it and they make a change that nobody likes but they like it because they feel like they need to play the game the way they're playing the game and it's very disruptive and I don't like it at all so the one thing that I'm going to tell you is that it actually doesn't really matter because there's a lot of other ways to do it and what I'm going to show you now is actually me going through the tier 5 Lincoln Tunnel on challenge mission with my gear score set at 229 and while it wasn't the easiest thing to do it wasn't the most impossible thing to do so what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see a lot of me shooting people and going down very quickly it's it's actually pretty amazing that these guys are only level 34 it's tier 5 so I was a little upset that they were jumping the gear score up to 256 because what that means is that you need to get all new weapons, all new gear, all of that stuff. That is incorrect. I had no problem. Well, I didn't have no problems. I have very minor problems getting through Lincoln Tunnel on Challenging Mission. But I went through and I killed a bunch of reds in the tier 5 and some of them dropped green, some of them dropped yellows. But the new thing that you haven't been told is that the purple gear score has been raised to 207. So all of those people who are down there, you can now get purples that are 207 from the tier 5 and they actually sell them in the boo. There's some new blueprints that are 250 in the terminal that you can go and get. I would highly recommend going and getting those and crafting some of them. They cost a lot of Phoenix credits. I think they're like 500 Phoenix credits each. I'm going to blow through a lot of different things on this topic and hopefully you guys can follow along. I'm going to be all over the place because I'm just going to blurt it out as I think about it and we're going to, because we're going through Lincoln Tunnel on Challenging. It's very difficult and I just need the concentration because it's going to be a lot of guys coming at me and I'm, I'm only one man going through this on a solo missions so and I'm gonna jump around from here to here and just cut out the snippets that I don't want because that's really what you know this is about is just me showing you how to get through it and that it can be done and just so you know I am gear score 229 this is a fresh character I just started and there is no I have no greens it is a fresh fresh character the only thing that I've modified is my gun and I've added some mods to it so a couple of things that you want to do the mods and the attachments have been up to gear score 34 or level 34 so you're going to want to switch out all of those it's actually a higher bracket it does a world of a difference i have i think i have level 33 stuff on this gun so you're going to want to go ahead and just get those mods and get that going. So go, But here's the thing. Do not go down and buy the packages, the sealed caches from the vendor because they will only come out to a max of 229. At least that's the way it is right now in the PTS. Just a reminder, this is week one PTS. So please, you can go back, pause it, and take a look at all of the patch notes and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff in there. The major one is the enemy armor damage. I think they need to get rid of that crap. Leave it at 
has a minor, minor attribute. I don't see why you change it. You change this stuff and people get pissed off and get salty about it. And because you're changing the way we play the game because you don't see fit. And we don't want this to go backwards into 1.3. So I just want to go ahead and just emphasize that. Please, let's try and keep this as a progressive game moving forward. Everybody likes 1.4, at least the majority of people. Some people don't, but the majority of people do. And we want to move forward to 1.5 and not backwards to 1.3. I, I originally thought that the gear score was going to be a step backwards, but it actually isn't because it's not that difficult. It, there's, It's not a huge jump. It's actually quite easy to take your max gear score of 229 and run through the challenging mission solo on the highest tier, which is tier 5 now. You are now looking at tier 5. They're all level 34 elite enemies. You will see me run through it. You will see me have no issue gunning these guys down, especially 1v1. Sure, they hit a little bit harder, and sure, my toughness is like at 180. So if you think about that, this should be no problem for someone who has a full gear score or has a higher toughness than what I have. Basically, I'm just running through with the standard gold items that I get when you join the PTS. So that's really what it is. I, I did open a bunch of yellow caches, so I do have better weapons and mods and stuff like that, but they all max out at 229. So it's all yellow stuff. There's no greens that I have on me right at the moment, but also let me tell you the newest gear set is in the game so i'm trying to collect some of that make sure i can get a four piece of that so i can start using it's the frontline gear set that is in this 1.5 build so there's that and you will see i i actually down the the pack on is actually a phenomenal gun right now in 1.5 i haven't tried on 1.4 because i never bought the named items from the gear set vendor but this is a phenomenal gun i would highly recommend if they keep it the way it is this is the first thing that you buy it's like 800 thousand credits you go buy this gun it is phenomenal it looks beautiful it is just absolutely wrecking these level 34 elite guys i mean it's it's absurd even all of my other stuff all of my other weapons like barely did a dent in these guys but this gun absolutely wrecks them so i'd highly recommend going after that now i did have some trouble i died a few times on some of the parts where i needed to go ahead and use some crowd control but it was fairly easy to down them i did not notice a huge difference in killing these guys so you should have no problems running through at 229 and getting geared up i think i got about five pieces of 256 gear some of them were the same some of them were weapons some of them weren't as good as the 229 pecan which is kind of taking a step backwards the weapons need to progress to a better slot it needs to be better than what it is and so I, I would urge that you recommend go make a forum post make it so that if a 229 weapon is good a 256 weapon is going to be significantly better as is the gear i've noticed that the the gear and the weapons aren't significantly better at 256 sure they are better yes they are better don't get me wrong they are better but they are not significantly better. It makes it a little bit easier. And sure, I haven't run through some more challenging stuff. Like I haven't run through Russian Consulate. I haven't run sh through some of the actual challenging missions. But I did run through Lincoln Tunnel because it's the one that I know the best. There are some other changes that they did make to Lincoln Tunnel. You actually have to kill all the guys in this area. There's no more running past the guys. You have to kill every single guy in this first area in order to progress. As the same as the very end, you have to kill all of those guys because before you progress no matter when you kill finch you have to kill all of the guys at the end before you can progress and before it clears it out so it makes it a little bit tougher on solo the bugs are still there so if you go and you get to finch and you run back they cannot throw grenades at you because they can't throw them through a closed door even though it looks open you can still shoot through it but you cannot throw grenades through it so it's still there's still a lot of bugs that need to be worked out that that bug there has been since the very beginning so i think that there's a lot of stuff that's going into 1.5 i like this it feels very good it feels very tight i feel like it is progressing on 1.4 despite some of the other things like enemy armor damage and kind of making adjustments to things i like the way the named weapons feel this the pecan feels very very tight very good i would use it as my go-to weapon the lmg is absolutely destructive right now it is better than the m60 that i started out with highly recommend it i can't recommend the named weapons enough they've done a phenomenal job on the named weapons and i would highly recommend getting your hands on some named
premium weapons from the special gear vendor as soon as you get into that thing. So the first things you want to do in 1.5 when it comes out, buy some gear, buy some blueprints. Do not buy sealed caches because they will only come out at 229 your sealed caches if you're in tier 5 when you get them from experience they will come out to 256 so there you have it also frontline is the new gear set that's coming out i don't know i haven't seen any of the other gear sets that have been that that are coming out but i don't even know if they're coming out with new gear sets and we'll have a full review of survival at the end of the week once i get it up and running some reason my sir uh, my season pass did not take and so i don't have the season pass enabled for it but i'm going to get it i'm working with the people over at massive to get that activated so that that can do it and i was told sometime uh, toward the end of the week. So there you have it. That's been my time. Go ahead and finish out watching these clips. I hope you enjoy my new director. He's pretty cool. He's infamous. And I do like his commentary. That's why I picked him up. He's a great guy. He's really fun to play with. Add him on Xbox. He is a blast to play with. He has a lot of fun and he definitely doesn't take things too seriously. I would highly recommend going and hanging out with that guy if he has availability in the group. You know what his gamer tag is. You've seen it and you can go watch one of his videos and I'll have one of his other videos up a little bit later today because I really enjoy listening to him absolutely destroy rogues and stuff like that and we'll have a dark zone report as well from this here because enemy armor damage is going to be changing so we'll have a dark zone report on that as soon as we get into the dark zone and go in there so thank you very much for watching if you thought this was informative or useful or whatever entertaining at least drop a like on the video consider subscribing to our channel and subscribe to infamous's channel he really you know I'm just giving him some love here because he's got like 150 subscribers he's very new to YouTube and so I'm helping him to develop his YouTube channel and his YouTube persona uh, and do all that stuff so thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting us here at Gun Brothers Gaming and we'll catch you all on the flip side for all of us here at the Division Let's Talk I'm Mountie Carl and we'll see you next time in the dark zone or in survival or in the mid of winter whichever one comes first agent out